And here we go, guys. Sunday, July 28th, charter day. We got Lisa, Lisa, say hello. Hi. And we got Jacob, her son. We're gonna do bottom fishing today. Hope to catch them up. We're gonna hit uh, some spots that we know produce some really tasty sea bass and probably porgies too. And hope to have a good day. These guys are experienced Florida fishermen. <laughs> Hopefully. Otherwise, Jim in the front is gonna have a lot of re-rigging to do. Catch you guys later. All right, here we go, guys. A Sunday, July 28, near shore Bay Charter. Thanks to my good friend Doc. His friend Chris said he had a friend named Lisa. Yes, it's a tangle tale, this story. Uh, he had a friend named Lisa who he wanted a treat to a charter for her and her son, uh, Jacob. And Doc recommended me. Um, so uh, the, the interesting part of this video, I think, is going to be describing the difference in charters. Um, I have six or seven charters booked in August. Every single one of them is an ocean charter. Every single one of them is with guys that are experienced and know what they're doing and they're all about you know catching fluke off montauk in the ocean um and this was a little different um not that these guys didn't know what they were doing uh, jacob surely uh, really impressed me he has fished before and so has lisa but the ocean and the swells are, are not for the faint of heart i learned that hard uh, with my first charter the, those guys were all fishermen too but they weren't really fluke fishermen ocean fishermen and uh, the ocean did not react well with them so you know we decided this was a half day trip anyway not really enough time to go to the ocean we decided to go for porgies and weak fish and sea bass and we caught all of that it was a it was a great trip the rods were bent the whole time and i i think that's what's important to remember here you know you have friends that want to fish you got to think about the environment you're going to put them in not everyone especially newbies are really meant to be out in the ocean in you know three to six foot swells uh, jigging hard for six hours it, it's just not for everyone and i think this was the perfect trip for these guys we had so much fun they were great people try to capture some of that uh, back and forth uh, joking around uh, in this video. Um, and remember, if you want to charter me for a trip like this, if you have a family, if you have friends that uh, you know aren't necessarily ocean fishermen, you absolutely can. www.justfishinglongisland.com. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. Whole squid. Oh, this is nice. Bring it up. Let's check the baits. Yeah, your your bait's all yeah, done. Yeah, right. I gotta be quicker than that. Yeah. And you gotta set hard. You gotta. Yeah. And let's do something. Well, let's see now. Oh, dang. Do I let it go until it stops? Yeah. Until so you're on the bottom. Okay. There, you're on the bottom. And, and you're getting hit right away. I can see it. So Lisa, there you're on, you're on, you're on. Trust me, you're on. Okay. Oh, don't jerk it. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. That fish is on. Go, go, you can go a little faster. Like a happy medium. There you go, that speed. This is definitely fighting harder than the last one. Jacob, you gotta do it like your mom. Oh, did he? No, he's still on. There you go. This is a keeper. So we'll put him in the box. You caught him on the squid. And your clam is gone already, by the way. <laughs> I'll give him a quick measure, but he's going to be 10 inches. He's got to be 9. I think he's a keeper. He said, try not to catch a... F you're on. Oh, you're on again. I was going to say, Dang. try not to catch a fish till I untangle Jacob here. <laughs> Jim, need help. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's catching them left and right. <laughs> right. Good. No, no, it's not good. <laughs> And that'll do it, I think. All right. Yes. Yes. We're back in business, Jacob. All right. All right, Jacob. Sean this, Hook won this time. <laughs> this is a big piece. Yeah, you just don't don't wait. Don't. Right. Oh, another keeper, huh? Yep. All right, hey. go ahead. You're ready. You All right. Nibble, yeah, really look. Like... Yeah, and you're doing it correctly. You're setting hard and then just reeling easy, you know. You were reeling good, by the way, when you okay. thought you had that fish on. When you feel that bite, Jacob, just, there you go. Oh, I don't know if he's on. I don't think he is. Nope. With that rod, if he's on, it'll go it'll be bent. Down. It'll be bent in half. Now you're on. Uh, there, you go. there you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. 
better fish, I think. Hopefully. And Lisa, just make sure you're on the bottom. And just watch your mom's line. Oh yeah, much bigger fish. Hey. That, this is a barbecue. Oh, and he hit the whole squid. Very nice. <laughs> Look at this porgy, Jim. Dang. Nice job. Sweet. All right, now go behind your mom. All right. And that didn't sound right, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you're on. Yeah. All right, move, move this way a little bit so Jacob can oh, draw. Okay. I don't think it's going to be as big as Jacob's. You can go a little faster. I think I scared you before saying, you were just like this. <laughs> and then the fish was this big. And it, Oh, Jacob. Jacob, you're going to have to explain to your mom how to do this, I think. What's that? No, I'm joking. No, the size of, the size of his fish versus this. How many of these guys do you want? I'm not. We're allowed a lot of those, but huh? it's up to you. I don't, I, I don't want to kill fish just, just oh, for, no, no. you know. We'll definitely eat them, and then I know his girlfriend's mother. Yeah, let me grab this for a second. I just want to get it around the edge. Okay. Yeah, Jacob, move, move back a drop. We're gonna put your mom here. Oh, I just felt the bite. Just set the hook real hard right now. Just set it, set it. I think you're on. You're on. Oh, Go. Yeah. I felt the bite when I was holding it. Yeah, you're you're done, but but oh no, your mom's on. Let's just take care of her fish. I think hers is decent. There you go. Yeah, if it's towards the smaller side, then you know we can go. I don't know, like I'm worried now, like keep the big ones. Yeah. All right. This you want to let this guy go? All right. Let's while I'm here. You're on, Lisa, you're on. Nice job. Nice and easy. I think this one's better. Yeah. I think this is one we're gonna put in the box. And it, it is turning, right? Yeah. He's got, oh, there's a sea bass. Oh, you got a double header. All right, that's why. Look at that. So we're gonna let the porgy go. Yeah. We're gonna measure the sea bass. This is delicious. It might be a little short. I got it. You got it? It's the clam. Hold on. Yeah, I was just getting that metal piece out. Yeah. Now I'm gonna cut some more clam while we do this. Right. In fact, let's just give you a fresh piece. <laughs> oh, you're on? Yeah. Oh. I got it, Jim. Jim, I'm up. Well, I should say I'm up. I'm not fishing. I got it, Jim. Jim, just maybe grab the clip. Ooh, another sea bass. Ooh, this one might pass. Yeah, that one. Sorry, I had to get that's that. Okay. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, give, give that one a measure, Jim, but that might be right at 15 or a little over. What it? Really? Yeah. There we go, Jacob. Jacob's got another big porgy, I believe, on. Keep? Um, Decent size. Yeah, sure. How many of these? How many of these can we count? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, I don't want to know. Put it that way. You're allowed 30 a person, right. which is a lot. <laughs> well, 30 a person, you could feed an army for. Yeah. yeah. Right. We're not going we're to. We're having uh, fish for the next couple of days. Yeah, we're not. There's no way I'm cleaning 60 fish <laughs> between you and your mom. That's so. fair. <laughs> And yes, before anybody comments, I said that in jest. Uh, Lisa and Jacob wound up keeping about 30 porgies, uh, the one sea bass. Uh, we did catch a bunch of weak fish. They were all shorts. We caught some fluke too at our last spot, but they were all short. Um, but yeah, I did clean all 30 uh, plus uh, porgies. It's part of the job. I get it. I was totally joking there. What it looks like, you'll understand, it, it, it just has a little more of a flutter. It'll be a little more enticing than when it's threaded. And you know, this stuff is like candy to them. They're just gonna inhale it anyway.
right away, huh? I think that's a porgy though. Maybe not. All right, you could drop. What do you think? My hand modeling career is like, <laughs> no, I think it's another week. It is another week. Boy. Tiny. Yeah. All right, this is the smallest one yet. <laughs> oh, I mean, he bit right away, which is. Yeah. Jim, <laughs> aren't they cute? <laughs> no, that one's smaller. And that's going to be the end of this video. And again, the point of this video was, even if you're not an experienced fisherman, and by experience, I even mean the weekend warrior, the guy that's out there every single weekend, or, you know, many weekends, a few times a month, plugging away, you can still have a great time. Uh, fishing is a great family sport. It's a lot of fun, and you don't need to be out in the ocean to do it. You can do it in the back bays. You can do it in relatively calm water where you're not going to get seasick. And you can get, have, you know, have a trip where the rods are bent the entire time, and you can have a lot of fun. As always, if you like these videos, please hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to charter me on a trip like this, please visit the description for how you can do that. Thank you again.